Okay. Uh, I've done what I needed to do. It took uh, a shorter time than I expected. So before we do get off, uh, get off this ship onto Yavin Station, I just want to talk to each crew member individually before we leave, see if they've got anything to uh, to say. Yeah, what do you want? Oh god, that sounds bad. <laughs> what do you want? Are you got time for a story? No, not really. I don't fancy a story right now. Your choice. I think the main person we need to speak to is HK. Quite the revelation he made last time. Apparently he's my former robot. Former robot? Uh, droid. <laughs> Sorry to insult you. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. <sighs> yeah, so you actually belong to Revan originally, eh? Statement. Yes, Master. You created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. Ah, uh, Don't worry. You find it distressing? <laughs> That's a good point. Statement. Of course, Master. You are the one who created me, meatbag or no. And while you may not be all you once were, I am grateful for my existence. So, I'm intrigued to find out, actually, yeah. Am I any different to the revenue to, to you, that you knew? Or am I very similar? Observation. In many ways you are, Master, yes. You have much of the beloved cruelty of the Master I knew. You seem to have forgotten much, but in some ways you seem improved from the human I once knew. It is difficult to explain, Master. Forgotten. Yeah, that's what I'm almost ashamed of right now. I mean, t falling back into those tendencies makes me cringe. So, wh why do you call. Uh, what can you tell me of Malik? Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. <laughs> Uh, just out of interest, why do you call humans meat bags? Answer. It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meat bag status. He was unimpressed, but you found the reference humorous. You changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. <laughs> so Mallet was the original meat bag. I like that. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. <laughs> all right. That'll be all. As you desire, Master. Signing off. Signing off. Statement. Can we... Uh, so, like, restoring his memory now is probably pointless. He's, he's restored, isn't he? Commentary. So far, that so. is unnecessary now, Master. I have statement. My functionality has now been fully restored, Master. I exist to serve Revan as your personal battle droid. In time, my assassination protocol can be restored, and at that point I will once again endeavor to eliminate any meatbag opposition you may have. <laughs> Lovely. So, HK is ready to serve once again, fully functional and operational. That'll do for now. Although I am actually quite intrigued to speak to Jolie. Of all the people, he said that he realised who I was, and uh, I might even owe him, owe, owe him an apology for how I've treated him in the past. This could be Valdron's start of turning a new leaf. Got something on your mind, do? Uh, no. Oh, I get it. Let's play with. <laughs> I don't fancy talking to him about his adventuring days. That's not what I had in mind. Okay, let's go back and... Let's go outside. So, my new party makeup is not going to include Bastler anymore, which is kind of upsetting. And kind of annoying, because she was pretty handy. To have around. 
In fact, remember, the last memories I have of Bastel was when she was twirling her lightsaber in that room. And she gave that little wink to Valdrin as she was chopping down those cis-cis soldiers. <laughs> they were having the time of their life. Now she's gone. Kind of makes me sad. So it's going to be HK and Jolie. And his first act of kindness <laughs> in this new path that Valdrin now walks down. He's actually given Jolie's lightsaber some crystals to upgrade. No more childish games. Before, he held back on giving Jolie some crystals because he didn't like Jolie. But now he realises that Jolie is probably the next most knowledgeable person on board the ship. Bastila had all the answers. Now she's gone. Jolie seems to know quite a few about... Uh, quite a uh, quite a lot about what's going on here. So we're probably going to be turning to Jolie for answers if we come across some things that we're not quite sure of. So we're going to keep him close to our side. So we've given him some upgraded crystals. And he gets a level up as well. Isn't that marvellous? Right, Julie, let's give you some skills. Give you a repair. I'll give you another feat. Uh, take a look. Uh, what's this? Advanced Jedi Defense. Weapon focus on melee. Lightsaber focus. Has he got flurry? He doesn't have flurry. So, so give him flurry, force powers. Apparently, now this is something that I didn't realise on the last, well, not the last set of updates, but when I was back on uh, Manan, he actually has destroyed droid. When I was struggling with those droids, we could have used this power. Silly Billy. Right, we have stun, stasis, and stasis field. Stasis field is looks like a pretty powerful thing to have, or we could go for force wave. That looks good. We'll use that. Force breach looks pretty handy as well. That will do for now. What do you mean? What are you doing? There. Thank you. Righty-ho. That'll do. Do you have all your weapons on, HK? What is this? Yep, the Jam Hogra. Excellent. Advanced flamethrower. What's he got on there? Composite heavy plating. Droid motion sensors. Type 1. How about droid motion sensors? Advanced targeting computer. Droid motion sensors. Type 3. Security encryption database. What's that? Upgrades, computer use plus four, computer use plus six. So we'll get rid of that one and put in that one maybe. Nah. Keep him a computer guru. <laughs> what? Okay guys, let's go see what we can buy or sell. So Valdron right now, as he can, he's a little bit drained, he's a little bit down in the dumps, he's not got that same kind of flair about him at the moment. I'm sure it'll all come back eventually, but right now he's, he's still trying to process a few things in his mind and he's uh, still a little bit upset, although he won't admit that to any of his compadres. Yes. Yes. You have anything you'd be willing to sell me? All right, we've got 30,000 credits. So first of all, we're going to sell things that we don't need. So bear with me on this one. I don't expect it to take too long. So Jedi Knight robes, Dark Jedi Master robe. What does Jolie have on? It's a good point. Yes. 
What do you have on, Jolie? You have a Jedi Knight robe. I'm going to give you a Dark Jedi Master robe because it is better. If you don't mind. There you go. You're looking pretty good. Suits you. Sure. It's like a Giska. You have Giska too? Okay, okay. Right, let's carry on. Let's sell again. <laughs> Take two. We're gonna sell these Jedi Knight robes. I'll keep one just in case we need to use uh, what's she called? That other cat face woman. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, combat suit. Look at this. Three of these. We'll, we'll sell two of them. Sell a battle armor. Sell them both because this is better. Combat suit is useless, so sell that. Defense bonus 10, dexterity none. Stun baton. Long sword, short sword. This is Bastila's light. Is this Bastila's lightsaber? All these crystals. Keep them. Sith assassin pistols, iron blasters, salt guns. Look at all these grenades. No more than one of each of the main things, really. All these droid platings. Keep one of each. Okay, so we've got 42,000 now, that's good. Let's see what we can buy. Let's have a look see here. I mean, these are pretty nice armors, probably for like Candrus or Karth, but I don't know if we're going to use those again. Heavy exoskeleton. Plus one to strength, plus what? Two to, uh, one to constitution, two to strength. Look at that. Phew, it's a heavy piece of equipment. But I think the only thing we're going to be buying is things for HK, so I think he's got a pretty decent gun already. And there's nothing for Valdrin here. So sorry to waste your time, buddy, but we're off. Come on, guys. Righty ho, uh, time for us to um, head to Kashyyyk, I think, the last planet. The quicker we get there, the quicker we can find out what's happened to Bastila. What did I say? Not Kashyyyk, Karibin. Karibin? Is that, is that what it's called? Yeah, Karibin. Let's go. Another bad dream. Probably about Bastil if I was to have a guess. Or maybe about the location of the star map.
And here we are. Corribon. What wonders await us here, I... We'll have to wait and find out, because we have come to the end of this session. I don't know how long it's been. I don't think it's quite been an hour, maybe about 50 minutes or so. But I think it's a decent place to leave it. Bastila sacrificed herself, dueling with the Darth Malak, as we get to... In a claim, she says, to save us, but... Uh, <laughs> Did she not see what happened there? Valdron was dueling with Darth Malak on two occasions, and both times he kicked his backside, and he had to use some underhanded tactic and run away. So, uh, yes, Valdron is confident that if he ever comes across that moron again, he shall have his head on a pike. But we'll put our petty differences aside, because our main focus now is to ensure our very best that we do all we can to save Bastila. So join me next time when we shall head to Corriban and probably see some new tendencies for Mr. Valdrambeen. See you soon.